In KDE 4.6, they actually updated their uh, activities features. And uh, if you ever use activities in the past, it was actually really horrible. They have this thing called the zooming in, zooming out feature, which is really stupid. So congratulations, you got rid of that and you fixed it. Okay, but let me try to explain what activities are and how is it different from uh, virtual workspaces because they're very similar. You can actually replace the words out, or you may switch uh, the words, and you can say it's the same thing. You know. But uh, there is differences, and I'm gonna try to explain it again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so virtual workspaces. Uh, hopefully you know what that is. Okay. Virtual workspaces. You ha I have four here, uh, and you can go through it, and you still it still has you know the same wallpaper, right? Uh, and it's mainly designed to be um, less clutter if you have like a lot of windows open. Uh, so it's you know designed to be organized. And it's the same thing with activities, but activities gonna you know it goes a little bit uh, higher on that. And let me show you the differences here. So this is on my web activities, okay? And it has this wallpaper. Now if I switch over to this other one, you see it has different wallpapers. Uh, it even has a widget here, okay? Uh, this one does not have any widgets here, because it only applies to uh, different uh, you know activities. You can have different widget sets. You can have different wallpapers. You can have different um, what's that programs, and even desktop layouts if you wish. Okay, so this one you can see that it has different uh, wallpapers. You can still use your workspaces. Okay, so it, it does not go away. You can still use your virtual workspaces, but you can see that it has different uh, wallpapers, different widgets, and it's going to the next one. So this is my gaming, and you see this one right here is using. Um, a different uh, desktop layout so this is like the netbook interface you can still use it if you want and it does not affect the other ones right this is like the traditional uh, desktop and this one is the netbook interface if you want to use it uh, or whatever other uh, desktop layout you want so if you want to use a different one right click on here and go to configure and basically you choose your layout right I talked about this in the past uh, whether you want the traditional one the uh, uh, search and launch or the newspaper layout up to you um, but it does not affect the different uh, activities and even this one it has different uh, widgets so it does not affect the one that I have over here see it's different right uh, so oh yeah another thing if you want different programs to show up on different uh, activities um, kinda like pinning it to different uh, activities so let me show you that example let's say I open a program Kate here okay and if I want um, well right by default right now it just shows up on uh, my uh, media activities if I switch over to this one it does not exist there does not exist here does not exist here right so it only shows up here uh, if you want to, it to show in like more than one you can do that or you want to pin it to a certain one you go to right click on this you know here and go to activities and then you have uh, options of selecting whatever one that you want it to be visible at. So if I say I want media and work, so I check that, it'll show up my work also, right? But my gaming and my web, it does not show there. And that's how you can keep organized, you know, if, you, if you're into uh, organization. And you can do this with, uh, you know, any amount of programs that you have installed, okay? So that's how that works. Now, after all this, how do you set one up? How do you add activities? Basically, you right click on your desktop here and you know, hit on activities or the high key to get to there is um what is it? Super um or they call it meta or the Windows key I mean. Uh so meta and Q if you want it to access here. Okay. And this is where you can create your activities here click on here they do have different templates uh, you can get more if you want so it says get a uh, new template here right and now you can add it if you want to add more I heard um, they say gonna, they're gonna make more so I'm not sure when is that gonna be uh, available but check it back if you want to add more but basically you click on create uh, whether you want an empty one or whatever I'm gonna use one of the template okay so let's say I use photos uh, usually they add like you know different widgets by default 
uh, you can add it more if you want um, not a big deal anyways the thing they have down here right this is the new one um, and let's rename this so they have this little wrench icon on the bottom click on that and you can rename it to whatever you want let's say I call this green cast and hit apply and now you can cycle through them so you can still cycle through them right uh, if you want uh, the high key to cycle through them is let me see uh, meta tab or that's super key in tab okay right you can still cycle through them right um, oh yeah this other thing I'm trying to explain now is um, it's, it's called like resuming and uh, and pausing uh, it's kind of like if you ever use your computer, right, and you suspend your computer or was it hibernate or something, um, it's to save RAM or to save power or whatever it is, right? This one is mainly to save RAM because if you have like programs open on different activities and you're not using it or you're not looking at it, right, you, you're using up, uh, you know, resources. So this one is called uh, resuming and pausing, okay? So let me open a program let's say you have a lot of programs here and you're working and you don't need it right now you want to go play games or surf the net or whatever so you want to pause this you don't want to you know close all the programs down uh... you want to pause it so we're gonna do that so they have this thing this little stop icon here and when you click on it it'll stop it, it will just not be visible anymore and basically that's kinda like a hibernation Okay. now if you want to get out of the hibernation you click on the play here right? the play icon and the program opens up and resumes wherever you stopped last time so that's how that works just you know click on the stop and click on the play basically now if you want to remove the uh, activities itself you click on the stop and you click on the X and it'll give you an option of removing it Okay, if you want to do that but I'll keep it for now uh, so that's how the resuming and, and pausing works and those are mainly the differences to me uh, activities are just I guess the evolved version of what virtual workspaces should have been um, I don't know if a lot of people are going to use this because it does take like uh, time to get used to it or time to set it up just to be organized um, but it does exist if you want to use it okay it does exist and in the future I heard I heard like some of the developers says that uh, it's gonna be tied up to uh, K runner and all this stuff so I'm looking forward to that see how that plays out and uh, that's it for activities hopefully you understood it now it's not the same as virtual workspaces but in a lot of ways it is but um, to me it's just what virtual workspaces should have been that's it for this one.